Hi friends. So I've got a small kiln unloading going on and I actually used cones this time, um, which was really helpful in determining that the top shelf did not get to temp, but the pieces came out good. So anybody that wants to chime in and help me out, that'd be great. Um, but this is the first cone pack. I fired to a slow cool cone six. So this is the seven, the six, and the five. And the five like barely, barely got to a five, I think. But anyway, um, we've got some great combinations. I guess I'll start with my normal speckled buff pearl white by Spectrum three times just up to here. This glaze likes to run. This was on the middle shelf, which fired, which fired hotter than the top shelf. Interesting. So that's my pearl white um, on the speckled buff by Laguna. And I also made a couple of bowls <clears throat> for our house. Um, because we like to eat like soup and stuff out of these on the pearl white. It's just so pretty on its own, you know? Three coats of pearl white by Spectrum. So those, um, I got black aventurine finally. Um, so I've been playing a lot with that. And I'll show you on B-Mix the black aventurine, three coats. This was also on the top shelf, so it like barely hit a cone five. So I don't know what it would do if it really hit the six, but it's really pretty. Very sparkly, I don't know if you can see the sparkles in the video. So I made a planter, this is the base. I love this. Great combination. Look at that. So this is three times Chun Plum all over. And then I put three times of seaweed, staggering three layers. So you got one, two, and three. And then I did a really heavy rim of the black aventurine at the top and then a globby rim of oatmeal underneath. And then I left that raw. I love how that came out. It's beautiful. So all together it's gonna be like that. So there's that and then my niece and my sister-in-law wanted mugs, like oversized mugs in this shape. So this is B-Mix. The bottom I glazed Blue Midnight. So I did the Blue Midnight to about here. And then I did, I did that three times. And then I did Sea Spray by Opulence. Um, I did the sea spray to just to where they meet and the slight overlap and look how much it dripped. But again, this was on the middle shelf that actually hit the cone six, I believe. So those came out cool. Um, now I have these, which stuck, bottom shelf, got the hottest, um, speckled buff. I did three times of Emerald Falls and then two times of textured turquoise over that. I've done this combo before on, it didn't have texture. So I just tried it on texture and I like it better. 
because see how it breaks. Just adds more like uh, depth to the piece. We'll have my handy dandy husband fix these drips. Um, this was a tester on B Mix. This was also on the top shelf, so it didn't like peak at the. It didn't get to the cone five. I mean the cone six. It barely got to the five. But um, it's satin matte, satin matte white by Amico. And I don't know. I don't know if it just didn't get hot enough. Like if it looks interesting. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. But anyway, so I did that on the inside and then on the rim. And then I did Amico's Celadon Lavender from like here down a good like three or four coats. Then I did a band and a half of Mako's Blue Hydrangea. And then I wanted to test out Dark Flux. So I did a line of Dark Flux. And then above the Dark Flux, I did a line of Light Flux. Interesting. Um, here's another set of mug. This is a mug design that I'm playing with. I don't know, with the texture. And so they reminded me as I was making them of wicker baskets. I don't know why, but so I have some on another batch, another glaze batch that have white. So I can't wait to see what it looks like with the white. But this is, um, uh, I forget, it'll come to me. But it's a, an Amico glaze, just that. Deep Sienna Speckle is what it is. You know, it's like crisp and simple. I did the deep sienna speckle in the grooves and then wiped it back. So I'm gonna sand these down really good. Interesting. We'll see how, how they grow on me. Um, I also am playing around with the brown, the speckled buff and black clay, marbling them. And this is how they came out. It, that's just raw, obviously. I think that's really cool, the way they came out like that. So these were also on the top shelf. So if they had gotten hotter, it would have dripped more. But it did drip, so. I was trying out that black aventurine on a lot of pieces. So I did ancient copper, like a good heavy three times around here and then above that I did three times of the black aventurine overlapping. I'm not sure if the video is picking up on the sparkles but it's super sparkly. I thought about adding like a flux to this too maybe a dark flux I don't know. Just trying new things, right? Um, again, this is that marbled look. If any of you like this, let me know and I'll do a video on how I make it. Cause I put this on the outside of the piece. Well, the inside just stays the base, which is the um, speckled buff. And this is just a tester with straight up black aventurine. A good like, I think I did like six coats. These were refires um, <clears throat> because a few of you had mentioned that the kiln didn't get hot enough last time. And you know what? I think you're right. Cause I put these back in and they moved a bit, but they're still like clumpy and 
yucky. Although this was at the bottom shelf. And the bottom shelf, hold on. Here's my cone pack. The five, six, and seven. So I don't think it hit like a hard six at the bottom either. What are your thoughts? Help me. Tell me what you think. So I wanted to just see if that was true and maybe it is, maybe it isn't getting hot enough. I think you guys were right. Um, oh, so I made these little um, oil burners. I have a video on how I make them. This came out so cute. I did end up putting a few holes in the back because I didn't know that like you should do that to let to not get let it get hot too hot. But anyway, this is on BMX and I did that satin matte white on the inside. And then I did the lavender Amico is uh Celadon lavender. And then I did that blue hydrangea and just some flux around the rim. I think it's adorable. And I can't wait to put a tea light in there and some lavender oil. Oh, I didn't even put that together. Lavender oil and lavender glaze. I tell ya. Um, these were a refire. I did an experiment. I didn't do much. All I did was add a little bit more of this glaze because it had some bald spots or bare spots not bare, but like lighter coats. So I didn't go heavy enough. And <clears throat> the soft white from Spectrum on the top had a few bubbles, like pinholes, little like, not pinholes, or they're like, you know, little bubbles that get hard. And so I put them back in. I put a tad more of the, um, the glaze on here. I can't remember the name of this glaze. It's a Mako glaze. Um, but anyway, when I when I refired these, the bubbles went away. So I'm really happy with that. They were driving me nuts because like you put your lips on it and it's and it was like sharp. So and I love this. I love these. Um oh, so I'm now playing with standard 266 dark brown. I know, right? Like, let's add another clay into the mix, but I like to experiment. And um, I threw these mugs with the standard 266 dark brown. They're just beautiful. And I'm kind of digging the shape that I played with. So this combo, these were on the top shelf. Otherwise, if they were if this had hit like the cone six that I was looking for, it would have dripped more, but I kind of like it like this, just even Steven. It's um, three times of textured turquoise on the brown with, I think I did one and a half times of pearl white on top of it, like one full coat and then a half of the pearl white. And it gave you this. Yeah, that I I find it interesting because um, I use a dark, uh, I use the Sio2 black clay as well. And that's, look how similar. It's almost like the black is, pr like I feel like this might even be darker. I, I don't know if it's just me or this kiln firing. Um, but this looks brown and it's black. So, um this is just pearl white alone on the black Sio2. I love that. Simple. I'll probably use this as a base to a planter. But yeah, I'm really digging these mugs. In the shape and all. Pretty. Um, this was a refire, which didn't run as much as I had hoped it would. So I might even fire this again for a third time. 
we'll see. But there's Blue Midnight on here, um, Blue Rutile, a lot of Mako's Light Flux. Um, oh, wow, look at that. This turned a little, a little rough. Oh, interesting. God, I can't think of the name of this glaze for the life of me. Um, just ask if you want to know. So I wanted to try the pearl white on the 266 brown clay. And look how interesting. This is pearl white and it turns like a blue. Whereas on the black clay body, it turns like that. See the difference? Interesting how one glaze can look different on a different clay body. So there's that. Um, this is like a very reliable combo. I've used it before. Um, it's beautiful. It's two times Blue Midnight, two times Blue Rutile, one times Seaweed, one time Burt Luster, and a Rim of Light Flux. It's a lot, I know, but it comes out beautiful every time. Um, this is a Stroke and Coat Peacock Bowl. It wasn't what I was expecting, but it's decent. Also, again, this is on the standard 266 brown clay. I used jaded Shogun Coat triangle dots. Um, and I used oatmeal. And then I did um, Mako, not winter wood. Um, a Mako, uh, gosh, I can't remember, a crystal glaze on this. Just ask me if you're interested and I'll look it up. I actually recorded, I have a video in process of me making this. So, sandstone. Sandstone is it. It's a very matte, rough finish on its own. So I added the oatmeal to give it a smoother finish. Guys, <clears throat> I love this. So simple. This is 266 brown. And all it is is like four coats of Blue Lagoon. So simple, so cool, really gets the speckles in the clay. It's a little weird on the outside with the bareness. And I did a good heavy, like three coats. I think it's just the way the glaze is on this. I don't know, but I really like it. Simple and easy and pretty. And then this stuck to the cookie. I saw this um, on a Facebook group and I loved it. I just loved, and it came out exactly as I saw on the group, but it's runny. It's three times of seaweed and two times of winter wood. It's so beautiful though. I love it. I wanna rip this off, but I know I can't. We'll wait for Matt to fix it. All right, last up is it just another refire. I'm not happy with the way it came out, but this was originally just three times of green tea by Mako. And I added Aurora Green two times. I don't think I went heavy enough. And then I added like a chunky globby rim of oatmeal. And it like, 
I might refire this again. I actually will. The inside was cool because I have the soft white in there. And you get some nice drips on the inside. So I definitely will do a redo. Another third firing on this. Um, I think that's it for this small little... Uh, kiln opening. I have another load to put in, so I'll have another small glaze kiln opening, like, very soon. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.